what guys so welcome back to our channel today we'll be discussing the one-handed hand so to start with you can have a deck but it's easier if you use half a deck or even less cards for a one-handed hand so start in mechanic script and then you come with the middle and the ring finger you come and lift about half the deck from the bottom here and supporting it with the index from the other hand so i use my right hand mainly to do the one-handed hand so i'll be teaching using the right hand now when you're in this position you're going to grip with the first finger here the right first finger and the pinky these two fingers grip the card and you're in this position so they are gripping the card from the edges and these two fingers are at the bottom at this point you can even release these two fingers so you're only gripping it with the first finger and the pinky so just break it off and grip now the move is done by the thumb so before doing the one-handed hand you just need to practice doing this with the thumb so you just push off these three fingers or even four if you want you just need to practice this motion over here that's basically the one-handed fan so your thumb comes to the pinky here so where the pinky is gripping it's almost at the bottom but see it's not here but it's a bit above so from here and then you're going to push so when you push the index will block the way so what you need to do is when you start pushing so firstly before pushing you need to apply pressure from the back while if you push it will just fall so you need to be applying pressure from these two fingers that are at the bottom so in this position and then you will be applying pressure with these two fingers over here so with time you will be used to this so you just when you're pushing the cards will go down and you'll be applying pressure with these two fingers from the back and now when you're in this position the thumb is going to push so the index will automatically go out because if not it will block the cards which is not good so when you start pushing the index goes Okay, and it goes mostly at the back so it joins these two fingers so now you have three fingers at the back and this finger just goes to the left if you are holding it with the right hand so it's like this and when you push these two fingers leave and you're going to be pushing so you notice this form motion over here it's pushing like this now you don't need to restrict yourself till it's like this after this finger you can go further and the palm here this portion of the hand it's going to contact these cards to help it stay in your hand so once you practice this pushing you will need to start pulling so how you pull is with this middle finger and the index also it's going to help you are going to be pulling these cards so once you start pushing you are also going to be pulling so this is only the pulling motion uh, what it looks from the back so it's like this and when you start pushing you will be pulling also I don't know if you can see it like this so you are pushing with your thumb and pulling with these fingers now you get a one handed fan now it, this one is sloppy because I was not in a good position now the one handed fan will look something like this at first you will have problems with pushing and pulling at the same time but over time you will get it at first it will be something like this or oh, let's see with the left hand what it is so 
will be like this sometimes in the beginning you just need to practice this pushing and pulling motion at the same time and this part here is to be going to be contacting the card so that it doesn't fall so this is applying pressure and this is giving pressure moment back and the thumb is pushing this part of the first finger so when you are pushing you notice there, there is nothing to support from the back so it's actually supporting from this first finger over here it's just it's just pushing this first finger back and it gets support all over the fan now to close the fan you can you have two ways one you do the one-handed fan and just tap it on the deck and close it the most simple and the other is without the deck so you just perform the one-handed fan and with the fingers that you pull you're going to push backwards and the thumb is going to pull and you're almost in the starting position like this so one-handed fan you push back with the other fingers you can Use the ring finger to sort of use it here so you can push it and the thumb is going to be pulling towards yourself. Pull both ways and you can use the other hand to also close it. So that's it about the one-handed fan. It's a really cool flourish. I use it almost all the time. I think it's one of the easiest flourish. To show off you can have a spectator to make a selection and it's a really good way to make a selection so it, you, you can have many applications of the one-handed fan and it's a good slide to learn it's a good way to demonstrate some skill so that's it guys